Hello, Moto One viewers. Today we're doing something a little bit differently. We're going to answer the internet's most frequently asked questions about dun, 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 the Mazda CX-5. Now, why the Mazda CX-5? Well, not only is it good looking and fun to drive, but it's also the latest vehicle in Moto One's long-term test fleet. And we want you to get to know it a little better. So here's how this is gonna work. We go into the old Google machine and type in Mazda CX-5 and bring up some of the questions that you all look for. And from there, we're just gonna work our way down the list. So let's get started. Question numero uno. This is probably a question that all of you have typed into Google at some point, whether it be for the CX-5 or something else. How much does this car cost? So for a base CX-5, that's a sport model with front wheel drive, it's $24,350. But once you start getting into higher trims and options, it gets a little pricey. The next up touring model is $26,615. The Grand Touring model is $30,045. The Grand Touring Reserve is $34,870. And the range topping signature model, like the one we're driving, is $36,890 before options. This next question is kind of weird, and I honestly don't know whether to chastise or high five the people that are Googling it. What is the ground clearance of a Mazda CX-5? Because everyone knows the Mazda CX-5 is the perfect off-roader, right? Uh, it's 7.5 inches, which makes it pretty bad comparatively. So the Toyota RAV4 has an 8.6 inch ground clearance in the Adventure trim, and the Subaru Outback, which is notably rugged, has 8.7 inches of ground clearance. So don't take your Mazda CX-5 off-road. Or maybe you should. Funny enough, one of the more common questions we see online is, how do you start the Mazda CX-5 with a dead key fob? Which means it probably happens a lot. At Moto One, of course, we're here to help, so we're gonna show you how to do that. Step one, remove the physical key from the fob and unlock the door. Step two, place the key fob up against the start stop button. And step three, push the stop start button and then probably drive to the key fob battery store. Here's a good question. Where is the Mazda CX-5 built? Well, Mazda builds every CX-5 in Hiroshima, Japan, which is also where the company is headquartered. For those of you that need a visual cue, that's about right here somewhere, right there, yeah. What are the dimensions of the Mazda CX-5? Well, the Mazda CX-5 is what we like to call in the biz a compact crossover. So that means it competes with the Toyota RAV4, Honda CR-V, and Subaru Outback. Now, technically speaking, it measures at 179 inches long, 84 inches wide, and 65 inches tall. Relative to what else you get in the segment, it's a pretty small boy. So you'll be able to fit it in any garage or driveway pretty easily. Does the Mazda CX-5 have Apple CarPlay? Yes, finally. It's the most recent addition to the CX-5 and we totally welcome it because the native Mazda system is pretty rotten. Stop it. We hope you enjoyed us answering the internet's most pressing questions about the Mazda CX-5. Now, if you have more, let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, follow along with our long-term CX-5 content on Moto1.com or on social media at Moto1.com. Bye.